Welcome back. Now the transgenders will get a status of third gender in the country. In a landmark judgment, the Supreme Court on Tuesday created a third gender status for transgenders. Supreme Court has directed the center and the states that the third gender community be considered as OBC. They will be entitled for equal opportunities in education and employment. In a landmark judgment, the Supreme Court on Tuesday created the third gender status for transgenders. This is for the first time that the third gender has got a formal recognition. Earlier, they were forced to write male or female against their gender. The Supreme Court also added that if a person surgically changes his or her sex, then he or she is entitled to her changed sex and cannot be discriminated. And I congratulate every sister and every Indian because the Supreme Court of India, Justice Radhakrishna and Justice uh, Sikri said that the development of any country is not upon its economy but how much human development is there and how much dignity every person has. Today in Republic of India, I feel that I am dignified, I am with my own dignity as what I am, immaterial to my sexuality. Today I am the citizen of Republic of India, world's biggest democracy with all my rights. The Supreme Court has asked the center to treat transgenders as socially and economically backward. The Apex Court said that transgenders will be allowed admission in educational institutions and given employment on the basis that they belong to the third gender category. The Supreme Court said the states must construct special public toilets and departments to look into their special medical issues. The third gender people will be considered as OBCs. The Supreme Court said that they will be given educational and employment reservation as the OBCs. Bureau report, Prudent. Noted doctor and social activist from Margao, Dr. Francisco Colasso, has filed a police complaint stating that an unknown caller threatened him with dire consequences. The complaint states that the caller threatened Dr. Colasso with acid attack and a false molestation complaint against him. So now yesterday, at 9.20, my nurse got a call and when she asked who was speaking, he didn't want to identify himself. He said, he only said, you know, one Luis is speaking. Then she asked what was the problem, told him, where is the doctor? What is he doing? When is he coming for rounds? So they told him she will come tomorrow. And tomorrow at what time? Tomorrow at 10.30. So then he became very abrasive and started saying, you know, what the hell your doctor, you know, drinks and comes to examine the patients and molests the ladies. Tell your doctor, you know, that we will show him a lesson, we'll throw acid on him and we will do the same on all of you while working in that hospital. Agriculture, if taken rightly, can be a good source of livelihood. What you need is dedication, little research and lots of hard work. Nanji family from Pali Pedne is a perfect example. In Goa, they grow Ratnagiri Hapus and market it in Maharashtra. Ratnagiri Hapus has found a home soil in Goa. Here is a success story of Nanji family. Manohar Nanji, this all belongs to him, neither gifted nor donated. It's earned with the vision, hard work and dedication. Nanji family exports 70 to 80 boxes of mangoes on daily basis during the season. The activity continues throughout the day.
These are his sons, Samir and Sandeep. Both help their father in horticulture business. They are very much satisfied after taking agriculture as their occupation. With Nanji family, agriculture department has also put in a lot of efforts in their business. Nutrition care and protection to the trees is being looked after by the department officials. Nanji family has set an example to the Goinkars that yes, agriculture too can be a best option to settle in for. Vinod Mathur for Prudent. Let's take a short break. Stay tuned.